Hello everybody, I'm here to show you CTOS for Watch Dogs. Right now I am using a iPhone 5S and then this is CTOS running on an iPhone. Basically the main loading screen looks like this and then once you log in it will look like this. Allow me to log out first so I can show you how it looks. Logging out, this is how the main screen looks like. Tap there to start. It'll have your Uplay up here. You enter your email. <sighs> and then hopefully if the servers aren't really that busy, you can still log into your account and play games. So, you log in to your Uplay. Sorry, just switching hands. Alright. So this is how the CTOS looks like. Heh. <laughs> so it says CTOS up there, username, profile, which is basically your experience, tutorials, which shows you the main tutorials of the game, contacts, editor, quick match, options, news, and logout. Tutorials has all the tutorials, obviously. If you click your profile, it brings you to all of your upgrades that are available. And then, well, basically your points are up there. The first one it makes you do is click that, and then it unlocks that for you. Achievements are, well, your achievements. Uh, things that you could do in the game. Right now I got Winner. That was basically the first match that I played. I played against somebody that was seemed new to open world games, so I was lucky. Contacts, it has the people that you have on your friends list, on your, well, from Uplay, PSN, and the Xbox. Hmm. Xbox, there you go. So you just type in the username for Uplay, PSN for PlayStation, and then Xbox Live account for the Xbox. So far right now I do not know how to challenge your friends through contacts. Editor is basically you edit the map, like if we do this. The timer is 30 seconds, set a start point, let's say right there. And then after that you click that, set checkpoints, set time bonuses for your opponent. Time of day, I prefer night. And then the weather, I like to make it hard on them, so I make it storm. Enable GPS for them so that they can see where they're going, then if you turn it off, well, they just can't see where they're going. Now let's see. We showed you editor, options just has basic options like music, sound effects, etc. Now let's go into the main match. So basically what happens is when you click on quick match, it'll set you up with a random person, if the Ubisoft servers are able to do it. So let's do quick match. So it'll search for a random player, as you can see over there, that's the loading peripheral. It'll usually take about 10, 20 seconds, yes yeah, see, player found. And then it'll just give you little tips before the game starts because it's loading both yours and the other person's game. <sighs> okay, let's see how this is going to play out. I am looking through the screen right now, so... Wish me luck. It'll show your opponent and then it'll go on to you. So what you do is basically drag yourself over to your opponent, try to stay on them as long as possible, and then you activate traps along the way. So basically you just follow them along. If you keep them inside that little radius over there you unlock points. And then if you stay close enough you see that red line it'll start shooting at the opponent. I unlock that to turn on the traffic signal and then it basically hurt my opponent. And then now it says I have enough points to dispatch cops. So if I click that drag that somewhere that's not red, it'll send cops after them. Sometimes it lags, see like that, that's why this app really isn't that good to use right now. And then it says mission aborted because the servers aren't really that good right now, or my opponent just quit. If that happens you do not get points, and then it doesn't count as a win or a loss for you. It just counts as an abort. So basically, first match that you play, it gives you 700 points, which gave me 
two hundred for the level up, and then an extra five hundred for my current level. So basically, what you want to do in a game, let's close this. Oops. So, here is how the map would look like. You follow your opponent around by clicking and then dragging it. Just drag it over them, and then if you're over them, it'll show you like you could shoot. If you see a traffic light, you can click the traffic light, and then it'll cause a, well, traffic. <laughs> it'll cause traffic to collide into each other, making a distraction for them, and then if they hit that, they lose points. You can set up barricades as well, as well as set up spikes on the ground. The goal of the game is basically to try to mess them up before they finish the race. Yes, this is a race. Uh, so, that's pretty much it. Just beware that there are a lot of glitches in the system, and you may not get a complete match from the start. Good luck!